There has been a lot of talk about a wise Latino woman. And uh, I think that uh, this proceeding is tended to make a mountain out of a molehill. Uh, we have had uh, a consistent line of people who are nominees who make references to their own backgrounds. We all have our perspective. Justice O'Connor talked about her life experience. Justice Alito talked about his family suffering from ethnic slurs. Justice Thomas, Pinpoint, Georgia, emphasized, talked about putting himself in the shoes of other people. Uh, and uh, Justice Scalia talked about uh, uh, being in a, uh, in a racial minority. Uh, the expectation would be that a woman would want to say something to assert her competency in a country which denied women the right to vote for decades, where the glass ceiling has limited people where there is still disparagement of people on ethnic background. Just this month in a suburb of Philadelphia, Hispanic children were denied access to a pool for whites only, as were African-American children. So I can see how someone would take pride in being a Latino woman and assert, to assert herself. A lot has been made of the issue of, uh, of empathy but uh, uh, that characteristic is not exactly out of place in judicial determinations. We've come a long way on the expansion of constitutional rights. Oliver Wendell Holmes' famous statement that the life of the law is experience, not logic. Justice Cardozo in Palco in Tennessee, uh, Connecticut talked about changing uh, values and uh, the Warren Court uh, changed the Constitution practically every day, which I saw uh, being in the district attorney's office with changes in search and seizure, confessions, Miranda, uh, right to counsel. Who could have thought that it would take until uh, uh, 1963 to have the right to counsel in Gideon versus Wainwright? We've heard a lot of talk about uh, the nomination proceeding of Judge Bork, and they've tried to make uh, Bork into a verb, somebody being Bork. Well, anybody who looks at that record will see that it's very, very different. Uh, we had a situation where Judge Bork was an advocate of original intent from his days writing the law review article in the Indiana Law Review. And how can you have original intent when the 18th Amendment was written by a Senate on equal protection with the Senate galleries, which were segregated? Or where you have uh, Judge Bork, who believed that equal protection applied only to race and ethnicity, didn't even uh, apply to women. And it was a very, very thorough uh, hearing. Uh, I spent beyond uh, the hearing days in three long sessions, five hours with Judge Bork. So it was his own approach to the law which resulted there. But you've had an evolution of constitutional law, which I think puts uh, empathy in, a, uh, in an okay uh, status, in an okay category. 